next model stone dropped from vertically rising balloon okay now see here a balloon rises from rest on the ground with acceleration g by 8 right g means acceleration due to gravity a stone is dropped when balloon is at a height of 39.2 meter see this what balloon when it is at a height of 39.2 meter one stone was dropped like that. one stone was dropped like that. okay now find the time taken by the balloon to reach ground that is the push see here this is what ground initially this balloon was buckled to the ground when string was cut by some means it raises with the net acceleration of g by 8 as it is very light object right it is not going down but instead of going down it goes up by some means right with what acceleration g by 8 Now, what is the initial velocity of the balloon when the string was cut? Initially, the balloon was buckled uh, to the ground. When the string was cut, it goes up with the zero initial velocity, right? See, usually, if you want to send a body up, we shall give some axis. We, we shall give some velocity to that object. But here, we are not at all giving any initial velocity. But still, it goes up because of because of It is very light object. It is very light object, right? So when it is at a height of 39.2 meter, it is going up. When it is at a height of 39.2 meter, one stone was dropped from the below, right? Now the time taken by the below, now the time taken by the stone, not below stone, to reach the ground, to reach the ground by stone, to reach the ground, right? That is the push. Now see, when a stone was dropped from vertically rising balloon, it is not at all a freely falling body with respect to ground. Why? Because this is dropped from a vertically rising balloon, right? So it's not at all freely falling with respect to ground. But with respect to balloon, it is freely fall, right? So with respect to ground, what is the velocity of stone? Means by that time when it was released. Whatever the velocity acquired by the balloon, that becomes initial velocity for the stone arms, right? So, by inertia motion, as it acquires some velocity from the rising balloon, it continues to move vertically up like, right? Vertically up like for a while, and retards. So, speed gradually decreases, decreases, and becomes zero at some height. Again, retraces. Same only representing. Somewhere here, like so, comes down and reaches ground line. This is what stone. This is the path of the stone. All right, but this is the balloon. So from this balloon, one stone was dropped. As it acquires some initial velocity from the rising balloon, it is equal to body projected vertically upwards from the tower. Same case. So it goes up, reaches highest point, and again retraces, retraces. Still crosses, crosses level of projection and reaches the ground line. Am I right? Okay. Now the question is the time taken by the stone to reach the ground. Now, what is the initial velocity of the balloon here? Uh, zero. Right. When the string was cut, what is the velocity here initially? Zero for balloon. Now at this location, what is the velocity here? Uh, unknown. V unknown. So u zero, v is unknown. H is 39.2. So here, whatever the velocity acquired by the balloon at this height, that only becomes initial velocity for the stone arms. So this is what stone, right? For the stone, what is the initial velocity? This only initial velocity, right? Whatever the velocity acquired by the balloon at that height, that becomes initial velocity for the stone, right? In the same direction. So it goes up and again comes down. Now, first of all, we need to find. Velocity acquired by the balloon at that height, right? So relate them properly. U V S S means h. So take v square minus v square equal to h. So for balloon, for balloon, for balloon, take v square minus u square equal to two h, right? V unknown minus u zero. Point to a means what? What is the net acceleration of g by 
Is it upwards or downwards? Upwards. So especially in this case, we should not include magnet G here. Magnet G means acceleration due to gravity. But here, balloon goes up with the net acceleration G by A. So you must consider A with G, a positive sign. That is G by A with positive sign plus G by A. Exception in this case, G by A, right? S means S means H on plus H plus H that is 39 part. See here once again, what is the acceleration of balloon? Is it minus G R plus G by 8 plus G by 8? Why because why because instead of coming down, it is going up with the net acceleration. So plus A that is plus G by 8. So remember this point, right? That is v square equal to 2 into g by 8 into h means what 39 point 39 point right so 39 point 2 okay v square equal to so and so now this is what to forge that is 9.8 times 4 into 9 point that is 39 part so v square equal g into 9 point 8 g means what 9 point 8 9 point 8 means what g so v square equal to g into 9 point 8 that is g square g square implies v equal to g this is what g this is also g one so v equal g that is 9.8 meter per second. So this is what velocity velocity of the balloon at a height of 39 point. So here this is the velocity of balloon. That becomes initial velocity for the stone. For the stone. Right. Now coming to stone. Coming to first stone. See the path of the stone here. This is the this is what height of the stone initially so it moves up and again comes down and reaches the ground line right now this what what is the height here h equal to 39 point right okay now see here nothing is there imagine the presence of one virtual tower virtual tower line virtual tower line right so the case is equal to body projected vertical upwards from top of the tower. So same case. So previous relations are valid here. See, here nothing is there but imagine the presence of virtual tower of height 39.2. Now the case becomes equal to or identical to body projected vertical upwards from the top of tower. Right? So here what is the velocity? V becomes U for the stone. So here uh, is what U. U means what? 9.8 meter per second. Right? 9.8 meter per second. Now, now find the time taken by the stone to reach ground. So we have the formation of initial velocity. We have a displacement cover S equal to minus H. Why? Because in this case, in this case, the displacement, this is what initial position, this is what final position. So, irrespective of direction of position, a line segment drawn from initial to final. Like, that. see, this is the reference line. From this reference line, see, the final position is somewhat lower to that reference line. So, this becomes displacement. That is, height of the tower. But here, not, at, uh, not like that. Uh, here, tower is not like that. But uh, imagine the presence of tower line. Okay, now S equal to ut plus of ut square. Here S means what? S means means minus h. S means minus h. Minus h equal to u positive t plus of and a means minus g. Here minus g a means minus g. Why? Because stone was separated from the raising bell. It is subjected to gravity. Right? But so here a is minus g1, not g by a. That is g by d is for balloon only. So when, whenever it, uh, it is separated from the balloon, take a equal to minus g, that's all. So minus g into t square. Right? 
okay now minus h h means what 39 point u 9.80 minus plus or minus minus g 9.8 by 2 into t square right now 9.8 that 9.8 here minus 4 equal to t minus 1 by 2 t square that is take us here 2 t minus t square by 2 2 goes this side that is minus 8 that is t square minus 2t minus 8 equal to 0. This is what relation. Now, this is what quadratic expression. Expression that is t equal to t equal to we have t, t square minus 2t minus 8 equal to 0. So, here a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2, c equal to minus 8. Right? Now, find roots here t equal to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a right b square minus 4ac by 2 that is t equal to minus b minus b means 2 plus or minus <coughs> plus or minus root over b square b square means minus 2 square that is 4 minus 4ac 4 into a into c 4 into 1 into minus 8 minus 32 minus 32 by 2 into a by that is t equal to 2 plus or minus root 36 means 6 6 by 2 that is 2 minus 6 by 2 comma 2 plus 6 by 2 and never be negative so this is what wrong option this is correct. this is wrong this is correct that is 2 plus 6 8 by 2 means 4 t equal to 4 seconds 4 seconds right so this is the time after which this is the time after which the stone strikes the ground right now the question one more question question number b find the speed with which stone strikes the ground find the speed with which stone strikes the ground number b question number b right now question number b question number b find the speed with which Stone reaches ground. Find the speed with which stone reaches the ground. See, for this motion, u 9.8 plus 9.8. Why? Because this is the reference line from which this is equal to projected upwards. Right? Now, now v is unknown. V is unknown. Right? Now, what is the time here for the stone to move along this path what is the time taken t equal to 4 seconds 4 seconds now take v equal to u plus 8 v unknown v is unknown equal to u means plus 9.8 plus 9.8 plus a means minus g a equal to minus g that is minus 9.8 into t T means what? 4 seconds. That is 4 seconds. Right? So, time taken by the stone to reach ground that is 4 seconds. Now, V equal to 9.8 is common. 1 minus 4. That is 9.8 into 1 minus 4. Minus 3. That is minus 3 into G. 9.8 means G. Right? V equal to minus 3G. Minus 3G. So, V equal to 3g downwards. Negative sign saying that direction motion. What is direction motion? Downwards. From the reference line downwards. So 3g downwards. This is what question number 2. B. Now coming to last question that is C. Find the distance of separation between balloon and stone. 2 seconds after stone was dropped. Right? 
find the separation between bellur and stone two seconds after stone was dropped see it is moving up but stone is initially goes up and again comes down so after two seconds it lies somewhere here in the middle why because to reach ground what is the time taken four seconds but here question is after two seconds two seconds means it lies somewhere here in between right now it goes up now what is the separation between these two that is the question right Question number C. Question number C. Find the distance of separation Find the distance of separation between Delu and store two seconds after it was dropped it was dropped means stone was dropped right so find the distance of separation between balloon and stone two seconds after it was dropped right after four seconds it strikes the ground but after two seconds means it lies somewhere here in the middle right now see this is what this is the height of the balloon at which stone was dropped now from this position balloon goes up and reaches somewhere here but stone initially goes up and again comes down right this is the ground this is the ground right this is the ground ground so this is the Position at which stone was released from the balloon, but after t t per two seconds, let it be the position of the stone. Let it be the position of the balloon. Now, what is this gap? What is the separation? What is the separation between these two? That is the question. How to find simple method? That is relative equation method. Simple technique. S equal U T plus of A T square. S equal U T plus of A T square. We know that S equal to U T plus of A T square. In terms of relative equation, relative, relative, relative. S relative equal to U relative into T plus of A relative into T square. Now S relative is unknown. Separation between these two after two seconds, right? What is the relative initial velocity between these two? Zero. Why? Because both are having same velocity when stone was dropped. Whatever the velocity acquired by the stone, that becomes initial velocity for the uh, whatever the velocity acquired by the balloon when stone was dropped, that becomes initial velocity for the even for the stone also, right? Therefore. Both are moving up with the same initial velocity at this uh, instant. So therefore, u relative means zero. So s relative equal to u relative to zero into t means two after two seconds plus half into a relative. What is the relative acceleration between these two? For stone is g, for balloon is g by eight. Here relative acceleration means larger minus small. For stone g. Or below g by a, so relative means g minus g by a into t square, that is two square, right? Why g minus g by a? G minus g by a, that is half into a relative into t square, right? Here g by a, here g by a upwards, g is downwards. Now net acceleration is g minus g by a, that is. Off into our relative acceleration, relative acceleration, g minus g minus of minus g by sorry g minus of minus g by why because g is first one g is downwards for 
बेलून जी बाय एटी सपोर्ट्स नाउ नेट एक्सेलेशन इज जी माइनस ऑफ माइनस जी बाय एट इट थर्टी स्क्वायर इज टू स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर राइट टू स्क्वायर ओके दैट इज वन बाय टू इनटू जी प्लस जी बाय एट वन प्लस वन बाय एट दैट इज एट प्लस वन नाइन नाइन बाय एट जी इनटू फोर टू स्क्वायर इज फोर राइट दैट इज फोर टू टाइम्स टू टू जा फोर नाइन बाय फोर Nine by four into g, right? That is equal to nine by four into g. That is what when do separation between? That is nine by four into g means nine point eight, right? This is what ultimate solution. So this is separation between balloon and stone. Two seconds after stone was drawn. Okay, friends. Thank you. Signing off. Fuck you. Thank you.